Hi guys, I'm Joel Gordon, I'm with the Museum of Discovery, and we are talking about STEAM, that's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Today, that means 3D printing. That's what we're talking about. If you don't know what 3D printing is, stick around because it is really cool and you're going to get really excited about it. You don't know about 3D printers? Watch this. This is a 3D printer and this is what it does. It makes things. It literally makes solid objects. Just like your printer that's connected to your computer at home. You print your homework, your mom prints a note to you. This prints three-dimensional objects. As an example, say you wanted to create a uh, chess piece for a chess game. You can design that chess piece in the computer in a program called CAD. CAD stands for Computer Aided Drafting. You design that three-dimensional object in here and you give it parameters. You make it however big or however small you want it to be. Then you save it as an STL file. STL stands for stereolithography. Trust me, it's a lot easier to just say STL file. So once you have that STL file saved, you hook the computer to the printer, the computer sees the printer, they start talking back and forth, then you load that STL file into the printer and the printer makes the object. What does it make it from? Well, it uses PLA plastic. PLA stands for polyactic acid. PLA happens to be biodegradable. The plastic is fed into the printer and then extruded, kind of like a hot melt glue gun. So as the plastic is extruded, the head moves back and forth and up and down and creates the image that you've designed. Now, why is this exciting? Why is this so cool? Whoever watched Star Trek, raise your hand, don't be ashamed. If you watch Star Trek, they had a thing on the Enterprise called the Replicator. The Replicator could make anything that they could ever want. If it was Captain Jean-Luc Picard asking for a cup of Earl Grey tea hot, or Scotty just needed a wrench, the Replicator would make it for him. Imagine if you had your own Replicator. Imagine if you needed an action figure to play with, or if you needed uh, a piece for a tripod, like the one in front of me, if the little plastic piece broke, would you throw the tripod away or just make a new piece? Well, you could do that. So think about what you could do if you can make anything that you could imagine. Now, you probably think that this is a very expensive piece of equipment, and trust me, they can be. They've been using 3D printers in industrial arts for years. They average 20, 30, 50, 60,000 dollars. Mine costs $400. It's not the fanciest 3D printer on the market, but it does what I need it to do. So I have a $400 3D printer and about a $200 netbook with just enough memory to be able to run the CAD programs. Oh, and the programs. You might think that those programs, the software is really expensive. The CAD program that I'm using, that software was free. I found it online and downloaded it to my computer. And the software for the printer, well, that's free too, and it's all open sourced. So, this is how it works. Just like your printer at home, it prints and it does it in three axes. So, back and forth, side to side, and up and down. We call them X, Y, and Z axis. So, the PLA plastic feeds into the printer, then it's extruded from this point, and then it starts to create what we want. So, let's make something. So that's it, 3D printing. Pretty amazing, right? I made a die. Now, because I have a pair, I can go play Monopoly. This PLA plastic, by the way, comes in lots of colors. Green, black, red, anything you can imagine. So anything that you can create, you can make with this technology. Having fun with hobbies like this is where careers begin. So check it out. If you like this, get online and look for more. Here's a couple of websites you might want to check out. Thingiverse, that's T-H-I-N-G-I-V-E-R-S-E, -E. Thingiverse. Always go to MakeZine, Make Magazine has great information. And make sure you go to Instructables.com. And since you're on YouTube, go ahead and type in 3D printing and see what else is out there. People are doing amazing things. So make sure you check it out, learn more about it, get into it, 
and get yourself into STEAM. Remember that science, technology, engineering, art, and math. I'm Joel Gordon, I'm with the Museum of Discovery, and I'm so glad you were with me. If you like me, like me. And if you want to make a comment, make sure you do it, because that's how I know what I want to talk about. I want to talk about what you want to talk about. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you later.